so there I took a trip to the construction site and I will show you guys some ways of measuring things with standards and non-standards measuring tools. Here we go. Over here I have some different kinds of measuring tapes. I have this measuring tape here that sometimes construction workers use. I have this other measuring tape here that you can roll it and unroll it. Depends on what you have to measure. And I have a ruler. Here are all my other non-standard measuring tools that I can use. And if you have different ones at home, like lentils or peas or kernels, you can use them too. And here I have some things that I gather together around my house. I have a small notebook, a pencil, a tile, a box of pasta, and a container with straws. You can pick any of these measuring tools to measure any of these objects over here, any of these items over here. I will pick the ruler and I will show you guys how we can measure with standard measuring tools. And I also have a paper and a marker where I'm going to write down the number of inches. Okay, and here we go. Let's start with the notebook. Let's see the length of this notebook. We start from here, right, from zero, and we go up to five. That's the end of the length of the notebook. So we can write down five, inches okay and then you can go the same way measuring the width of the notebook and it says that it is see it's ending over here number three three inches so the length is five and the width is three inches now we are going to try to measure this notebook with some legos let's see how many lego pieces i'm going to use to see the length of the notebook. So I have one, two, and hmm, I would say two and a half because this one is too long, right? It comes all the way out of the notebook. So two and a half Legos, if I wanna look in this way, or I can remove this piece and use a small one, let's see. Now I have four pieces of Legos, right? One, two, three, and four. Two long ones and two short ones. Two rectangular shape and two square shape. So. That's how many Legos I need to measure the length of this notebook. Now, if I get another shape and I would like to use maybe some pins, let's see how many pins I have to put all around my straw container. One, two, and when you measure, make sure the pins are all near each other. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, oops, 33, and 34 bins to measure this big, big circle on the bottom of our straw container. Now you can also try measuring this pencil and I'm going to use a grape. So let's see how many grapes do I need to measure the length of the pencil. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and maybe a small little grape, and eight, eight grapes to measure the length of this pencil. And you can do the same thing with the pasta container, with the pasta box, and the tile. And as I say, you can use Legos, lentils, anything you have at your house. You can even use um, small pieces of uh, tangerine, and you can measure things around, okay? I hope you guys will try it home. This is a fun activity and a, and a good way of seeing that we can not only measure with the tape or with the ruler, but we can also measure with other items that we have at home and count. Bye, friends.